Hello everyone, I'm going to tell you how to get all of the legendary armor in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, in an earlier video, I did a showcase so you can see what they all looked like. There are 12 sets total. So if you don't want any spoilers, there's going to be some minor spoilers in this video. If you just want to see what the armor looks like, click on that earlier video, click the i-card in the upper right corner, or check the link in the description. Seven of the 12 sets of armor is going to be earned by defeating cult members in the Cult of Cosmos. Now you'll notice there are seven different branches here. I've edited out the center for spoiler reasons, but there are seven different branches. Each branch has five cult members. Each armor set has five pieces. So if you defeat all of the cult members within a single branch, you will have then completed that armor set. With the exception of the one in the middle on the left-hand side, the Agma Memon set, there is actually going to only be four armor pieces there. You have to acquire the fifth one from a separate location. And that fifth piece is going to be in a silver mine in the southern end of Attica. So just go in here, find the treasure chest, and you'll get the gauntlets for this set. Now, if you equip all five pieces within the same set, you do get a bonus stat. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they all are, which branch you need to destroy, and what effect you get. So the snake set, which is the easiest, is going to give you a plus 10% to intoxicated damage and a weakening effect. That's for doing the top left branch, the Eyes of Cosmo. The Achilles set, or Amazon set if you're playing as a female, will give you 2% damage dealt restored as health. That is for defeating the heroes of the cult. Now the worship Worshippers of the Bloodline will award you the Immortal set, and you're going to get 20% health restored on death, and there's a 2 minute cooldown on that ability. The pirate set is for defeating all of the cult members of the gods of the agency. You're going to get a 15% damage with assassin abilities when you equip all five pieces. The Spartan war hero set is for the Peloponnesian League, and that is going to give you a plus 15% damage with the warrior abilities. Now the Athenian war hero is for defeating all the members of the Delian League, and you're going to get a ability of having all arrows piercing shields. Now the Agamemnon set is for defeating the Silver Vein branch, and that is going to give you a plus 50% to the burning rate. So that is all the armor and all the abilities when you equip all five of them as part of the Cult of Cosmos, plus of course the one random chest one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Greek Hero set, and this, if you equip all five pieces, does give you a 20% bonus to all resistances. Now how do you earn this? Well, you're going to do it by defeating mercenaries. There are five specific mercenaries that have legendary armor attached to them. So if you go to the mercenary menu, as you're going up to tier one, you'll probably come across this. Here is Sophia the Translucent, you can see her loot reward is this helmet. And you got to, of course, confirm the kill and loot the body. Now, the five cult uh, mercenaries that you need to defeat are the Lucky Drunk, the Flash, the Frenzied, the Translucent, and the Resplendent. Now, their first name may be different. I got Sophia the Translucent, but you might have Bob or Susie the Translucent. Up next is the Arena Fighter set. Pretty self-explanatory in how you earn this. When you equip all five pieces, you'll get 10% health restored when you use overpower abilities. So go to the bottom right corner of the map, and that is where we're going to find the arena. You'll have to go through, complete all the challenges, and then do it a second time. So there's two full rotations of battles you'll have to complete. Now the Artemis set, which gives you 15% damage with hunter abilities, is uh, earned by completing the Daughters of Artemis questline. So go to the Temple of Artemis here, we're in focus, and you'll meet a woman. She'll give you a side quest, complete the Daughters of Artemis questline. you got to kill a bunch of legendary animals in order to get this set. Now, up next is the Pilgrim set. For this, we need to loot five specific treasure chests around the world. So, let me just show you where the, the temples are located. They're all in temples, starting off with the Acropolis of Argos in Argolis. And then the Temple of Athena, this is in Laconia in Sparta. And then we're going to go way up north to the Temple of the Golden Bowed Goddess in Malice. Also have one in Attica at the Eleusis Telestronian. And then the Temple of Britomartis in Masara. So just go to those, find the treasure chest, and you'll get those set. Now the final one is a demigod set. Spoilers incoming in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, so for the demigod set, you got to loot uh, Deimos at the very end of the family main story quest line. You will get four pieces of the entire set when you do that. And then the fifth and final piece is going to be... Uh, when you go to the final cult leader, the final thing as far as the cult of cosmos goes, 
and then you'll get the fifth and final piece for the demigod set now if you equip all five of those pieces you'll get a 10 percent damage increase with all abilities so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button and of course subscribe